master and apply the concepts effectively to beat the competition. That is our motive. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this playlist, we have taken many questions which will help you prepare for SAT test. Now, this set of questions is mostly from the section of trigonometry. We have example based on circle and triangle inscribed in it in this particular video. It's a very popular question. I'd like you to pause the video, read the question, answer, and then look into my suggestions. A triangle ABC is inscribed in a circle as shown in the figure. The arc BC is two-fifths of the circumference. Find size of angle ACB. So we have to find this angle of the triangle and we are given that the circumference two-fifth is the arc shown. The arc shown to you is there, B to C. So the minor arc BC is two-fifth of the circumference. Find the indicated angle. So concepts behind solving such questions are, one, you should understand the relation between the arc and the angle subtended. Since arc BC is two-fifths of circumference, full circle, right? So that means the angle, which is right there in the center, let's call this angle as theta, is two-fifths of means times 360. So that gives you the angle at the center. You can always simplify and get this answer. This is without calculators. So, 72, and when you times it with 2, what do you get? You get 144. So, we get theta as 144. You have to now find the two angles, and one is x, which you need to figure out. So, I think now it is very simple. You can pause the video and answer the question. Now, in case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. As you know, most of my students are right there on the top. And here's an opportunity for you to be as successful. Some of them are getting awards, like Akshit. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. I hope you all already got the answer and the correct option out of those given, but let's move forward and finish it up. So what we figured is that this particular angle here, let me call this as theta, is equal to 144 degrees, right? And that is not one of these options. So what is the correct option? Since it is a triangle within a circle, the two sides are radii, and therefore it's an isosceles triangle, giving the other angle also at x. Some of the three angles should be 180 degrees. So we know this 144 plus x degrees plus x degrees should give you 180. And that means that 144 plus 2x is 180 degrees, correct? So 2x is 180 minus 144. So that gives you 10 take away 4 is 6. And then it is 17 here. And from 17, when you take away this, you get 36. But that is 2x, right? So 36 is an option, but that's incorrect option. 
So, x is equal to 36 divided by 2, which is 18. And therefore, the correct option is 18. You get an idea. So, that is how it has to be solved. So, I hope the concepts are absolutely clear. Uh, let me summarize them. As soon as you see a triangle within a circle, you should remember it is an isosceles triangle. So, therefore, those two angles should be seen. And then the properties of arc and the angle subtended. Because of the infinite symmetry, we can easily find they are in the same ratio. So, these help to find the answer. So, I hope it is absolutely clear how we got this option C as the right option for the given situation. And this concept should help you in answering many similar questions. That is the strategy. Perfect. In case you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. And if you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best. Mm -hmm.